All right, we have a rectangular tank. That means all of its sides are rectangles. It has a square base and an open top. So I'm going to do my best to make a little drawing here. All right, good enough. It has a volume of 8,788 feet, and it's to be constructed out of sheet metal. We're going to find the dimensions of the tank that gives the minimum surface area. I guess that would minimize the cost of the sheet metal. Now we have some instructions down here. It says we're going to let S be the length of one of the sides of the square base. So we have an S here and an S here, and we're going to call the surface area of the tank A. Okay, so they don't give us a variable for the height of this tank. I'll just call it H. And this tank has some volume and it has some surface area. The volume of this rectangular tank is going to be S times S times H or S squared H. And given that our volume is 8,788 cubic feet, that tells us that our S squared H or our volume is 8,788. Okay, our tank has a surface area as well. The area of the base of this tank is just S times S or S squared. Remember there's no top. Then there are four sides of this tank that are all the same. Each side has an area of S times H. So the combined area of all four sides is 4SH. Now we're asked to find the dimensions of the tank that give us a minimum surface area. That means that we need to minimize this area function. However, there's a problem. We know how to minimize functions of one variable, but not functions of two variables. So it would be ideal if we could get rid of this h maybe, so that we could have this area as just a function of s. The way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to solve this equation up here for h. I'm going to do that by dividing both sides of the equation by s squared, and then I'm going to plug this formula that we got for h in right here. That gives us a new formula for h. It's a function of s, and it's s squared plus 4s times 8788 over s squared. Now you might notice that one of these s's is going to cancel. You also might want to multiply 4 by 8788. Doing that gives us 35,152 over s. And now our goal is to minimize this function because we're trying to find a minimum surface area. To find the minimum of any function, we'll start with the critical points. That means take a first derivative. And if you're wondering how I found this derivative here of the second term, what I did is I thought of that term as 35,152 times s to the negative first power, and then taking a derivative of that means multiplying by the negative 1 and reducing the power on s by 1. That gives us an s to the negative 2 power, which goes to the denominator as an s squared. And I just noticed that I should have pointed out that this function up here is called an objective function. We're going to minimize it. And there is a certain interval of interest for this objective function. In other words, it's the domain of this function. So what are our possible values of s for this function? Well, s has to be positive or else we won't have a tank. And presumably the base of this tank could be any number, all the way up to, but not including, of course, infinity. So the domain of this objective function is zero to infinity. Okay, back to the problem at hand. We're still trying to find critical points, so we're still trying to set this objective function equal to zero. And I'll try to use all this space here. I'm going to add this 35,152 term to both sides of the equation. Then I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by s squared. That gives us an s cubed on the right side. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by two. And finally, I'm going to take a cube root of both sides of this equation. Miraculously enough, that gives us a nice even number, s equals 26. I'm going to box that up because that gives us most of our answer. Because the dimensions that minimize the surface area are 26 feet by 26 feet. Those are the two dimensions in the base of that tank. And then I'm going to plug that s equals 26 right in here to this equation to find h. That gives us another miraculously round number. The height of this tank is going to be 13 feet. Okay, so that's going to do it for that problem. If we wanted to prove that this is a minimum and not a maximum area, we have a couple ways to go about this. Probably the most straightforward way to do it would be to take a second derivative of our a function, plug in our s equals 26, and we should find that that second derivative evaluated at s equals 26 is positive. Therefore, the second derivative test says that we have here a minimum. So okay, I think that's all I'm going to say about that problem. I hope that this helps you out. In the next video, we're going to be talking about linear approximations. So I will see you there.